television. Now, when I was a kid, I spent countless hours in front of the television, mesmerized by classic shows like Wonder Woman, Batman, and I Dream of Genie. Well, we found one collector who is still captivated by the shows of yesterday, and he has a million dollar costume collection to prove it. That house contains some of my best childhood memories. Why, you ask? Well, Superman, Batman, Robin, all the wardrobes from great 60s shows are in that house. And we're going to go check it out. With more than 2,500 rare TV costumes, John Azarian's collection is a showstopper. His enormous collection includes outfits made famous by superheroes and villains, and unforgettable pieces like Barbara Eden's I Dream of Genie outfit, and Dr. Smith's shirt from Lost in Space. John even owns one of the multiplying tribbles from the original Star Trek series. John's collection has everything, and I couldn't wait to see all 2,500 pieces. Wow. Hey, John. Hi. Hey, John. hey guys. See, Batman and Robin are like bouncers at your collection. First order of business, showing off my vast talent for celebrity impression. Hello, Chief. It's Max. Welcome to Ultimate Collectors. I'm Captain Kirk. John's collection blew me away, and I wondered what it was like to own all these cool costumes. Makes me feel great. These are all things that I enjoyed as a child, and, uh, you know, it's just a great thrill to have them. John didn't start collecting pieces of television history until about 10 years ago. But his fascination with TV shows started when he was a kid with the original TV series, Batman. His mom would always tell me a story on how he would watch that show. And I would never miss a show. And when he was very, very little, he couldn't read, like three, four years of age. And she would have to sit there and read the Pam Bow Wow. As an adult, he was so influenced by his fond memories of watching Batman on television, he just had to own a piece of the show. And as luck would have it, the original Batman and Robin costumes went up for auction. So we are standing in front of a very big part of my childhood, Batman and Robin. Tell me about them. My childhood as well. Um, these are the first pieces I ever uh, acquired. How much did you pay for these two pieces? Uh, they're worth today about $300,000. $300,000? That is amazing. How would you like to try on his cowl? You mean his mask? His headpiece. Yes, I'd love to try this on. Are you kidding me? There you go. I'm Batman. Holy cow, Batman. This day just kept getting better and better. Until... I knew it. This costume from the popular 70s series worn by none other than the stunning Linda Carter is worth $75,000. And John not only owns her classic ensemble, complete with lasso, bullet deflecting bracelets and tiara, he even has her aqua suit, used only when she wanted to be fashionable underwater. This curve defining aqua suit is worth more than $40,000. If I had thousands of dollars to spare, I might try to pry these costumes away from John. And I know what my motivation would be. Hey, Wonder Woman, you want your outfit back? Come find me. And while most of John's collection is a veritable superhero smorgasbord, many of his costumes are from everyday characters like you and me. Hey, we're going to the Meat Cutter's Ball with Sam. That was Alice. That was a perfect impression. But some of his costumes belong to ordinary characters who could do extraordinary things, like start a jukebox with a slam. That's right, Fonzie, and John has his famed leather jacket. Okay, John, tell me about this jacket. I heard it has some special significance. This is Henry Winkler's Fonzie jacket that he wore in Happy Days. It came from Vicki Whelan, who was uh, Jill on the Love Boat. Right, Captain Stu being daughter. Yes. So how did you get it? You got it from her? Mm hmm Through an auction, but it came from her. Now, oh wow, look at this, this is amazing. H.W. there. It's actually Fonzie's jacket. You gotta let me try this on. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Come on. <laughs> Fonzie's jacket. I'm a little bigger than Fonzie, obviously. Better be careful with this. What does Fonzie feed his horses? Hey! But for him, there was no greater thrill than seeing his collection on television while watching reruns. Every time I see something that I own on TV, even to this day, after seeing it so many times, it still gives me a thrill. John's son doesn't share in the thrill of sitting down and watching old TV shows with Dad. But the collection is still a big hit with him. I think my dad's collection is cool, and he has lots of stuff that I like in it. And rightfully so. Just being there made me relive some of my favorite memories from childhood. Jeannie? 
Does this outfit make my thighs look big? Well, did it? If you'd like to own a piece of television history like John, here are some things to get you started. Original scripts from TV shows are a great find. Expect to pay between $100 and $300 for an I Love Lucy script, while an original Star Trek script is worth up to $500. Show costumes are expensive, and often you can find them at auctions. A Lost in Space costume will cost about $10,000, while a Star Trek tunic from Kirk, Spock, or Scotty will set you back about $50,000. And get this, the original ruby slippers worn by Judy Garland in The Wizard of Oz sold in May of 2000 for 